Well, Saturday marks three years since a January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. President Biden spoke in Valley Forge, Pennsylvania on the eve of the anniversary, warning voters that democracy is on the line in this year's presidential election. Anna Warnicke is in Washington with more. This is President Joe Biden's first campaign speech of the year, where he narrowed in on GOP frontrunner, former President Donald Trump, warning what could happen if he was reelected. President Joe Biden took direct aim at former President Donald Trump for his role in the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. He told the crowd to fight like hell and all hell was unleashed. The president says what should have been a peaceful transition of power turned into an unprecedented attack on our democracy. Trump's mob wasn't a peaceful protest. It was a violent assault. On that day, officers were punched, tackled, and tased as they defended the Capitol and those inside. And U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland vowed to continue prosecuting the people accused of storming the Capitol. We have charged over 1,250 individuals. In a press conference on Friday, Maryland Democrat Jamie Raskin warned Trump could try to overturn the election again if he loses the 2024 race. Donald Trump is out there saying that he will issue a pardon to the more than 700 people who were convicted. But Trump fired back, posting on his social media platform Friday that, quote, Biden is a threat to democracy. The radical left Democrats rigged the presidential election of 2020, and we're not going to allow them to rig the presidential election of 2024. Former President Trump will spend Saturday in Iowa, where he is scheduled to hold two separate campaign rallies. For now in Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke. Back to you.